Nobody is more excited about the plan to renovate all of L.A.'s city basketball courts than the L.A. Clippers mascot, Chuck the Condor. Well, except for maybe the L.A. Clippers owner himself, Steve Ballmer, who apparently loves basketball and kids. Every kid who gets fired up about basketball gets me fired up, so I'm just incredibly excited to see kids out there hooping. Clippers owners are donating $10 million to give all 344 basketball courts in L.A.'s Department of Recreation and Parks a little rehab, including new floors, scoreboards, basketball rims, and more. For them, it's not about just winning or losing. It's about contributing to our community. The kids look pretty excited, too. I mean, come on. Playing with Clippers guard Lou Williams is a dream come true for any hoopster. I shook Lou Williams' hands. He even said he's going to break Patty Mills' ankles. I feel good about, I feel good about it. I, I just feel like it's a blessing for the Clippers to come over here out of all places. That Chuck sure gets into everything. He attempts a few hoops here, as does Mayor Eric Garcetti. But Mayor, you got to be careful when you pick on the young whippersnappers. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I beat him, so like it didn't really matter. It was fun, though. Thanks to efforts by the mayor and First Lady of L.A., the number of girls playing sports has increased in the last several years from 22 to 45 percent. Now, as the city gears up for the 2028 Olympics and Paralympics in L.A., Mayor Garcetti wants to get even more kids involved in sports. I didn't want to just bring the Olympics and the Paralympics here home to Los Angeles. I wanted to make sure that every young Angelino had a place on the field and on the court. And for those young Angelinos back there, they can set their sights to 2028 when they might win a gold medal in their own backyard. But for many, this is about more than just the sport. These experiences build self-esteem, confidence, leadership, cooperation, fair play, and friendship. I played my, my very first basketball game in a community center. I had a, um, had a coach in my neighborhood that took a liking to me. I was a troubled youth. And on weekends, he would come get me from 3 o'clock from when school was out. I was with him from 3 o'clock when school was out to Monday morning at 7 a.m. to make sure I stayed out of trouble. Who knows, maybe one of these kids is a Lou Williams in the making or even a future 2028 Olympic medalist. I'm Anna Marcos for L.A. This Week.